वेलकम टू जेसीएस मेट्रिकुलेशन स्कूल तालावाड़ी सोशल क्लास टुडे आई गो टू एक्सप्लेन यू लेसन नंबर फोर इंडिया फॉरेन पॉलिसी ऑफ टेन्थ स्टैंडर्ड सिविक्स फॉरेन पॉलिसी कैन बी डिफाइंड एज कंट्रीज पॉलिसी दट इज कन्विंस्ड design and formulated to safeguard and promote her national interest in her external affairs in the conducted of relationship with other countries both bilateral and multilateral it seeks to secure to best interest of peoples territory and economy of the country it is a direct reflection of country's traditional values and overall national policies her aspirations and self precipitations nations have also been interpreted interpretants as been an inconvertible fact of international relations the main tool of foreign policy are treaties and executive agreements appointing ambassador foreign aid international trade and armed force the ministry of external affairs of india also known as foreign ministry comes under government of india is responsible for the conducted of foreign relations of india the foreign service training institute new delhi is established in 1986 provides training for officer of indian foreign policy ifs the constitution of india 1950 article 51 tells us lays down directive principles of india's foreign policy the state shall endeavor to promote international peace and security the next is maintain just and honorable relations between nations the next is foster respect for international law and international organizations the next is encourage settlement of international disputes by arbitrations next we are going to learn about main objectives of our foreign policy is the doors the first one is national security the next is national prosperity the next is increasing the number of friendly nations next is achieving world peace and enable every nation to peaceful coexist the next is economic development next we are going to learn about panchasil this word is derived from sanskrit words pancha means five seal means virtues the five principles of peaceful coexistence panchasil between india prime minister jawaharlal nehru and china premier chow and lai was signed on 28 april 1954 which started that the two governments entered into an agreement based on the following principles i already given the panchasil systems uh, what is the principles in the right side of your slide that are mutual respects for each other territorial integrated and sovereignty that is the first fight the next is mutual non aggression the next is mutual non interference the next is equality and cooperation of mutual benefit and the last one is peaceful coexistence these are the principles of panchasils these principle were incorporated in the bundang declaration signed in the afro asian conference held in 1955 in indonesia now we are going to learn about basic determinants of a foreign policy a 
geographical position and size of territory the next is nations history traditions and philosophical basis the next is natural resources the next policy is the compulsion of economic development the next is political stability and structure of government next foreign policy is the necessity of peace disarmament and non proliferation of nuclear weapons the next is military strength the next last is international milieu next we are going to learn about foreign policy in 1950s and 1960s the period from independence through 1950s and 1960s constituted the most idealistic phase of india's foreign policy under the guidance of india's first prime minister jawaharlal nehru the new nation that got independence after the long period of colonial struggle found themselves in a very difficult situation with respect to economic development so it was necessary to align with either of the blacks united states of america usa or union soviet socialist republic ussr nehru india's first prime minister was opposed to the rivalry of the two superpowers america and russia we called who were trying to extend their influence over the newly emerged nation of asia and africa so he chose the path of non alignment that is not aligning with any bloc in the face of the bifall order to the cold war and tried to form the third bloc of nation in international affairs